Hi, welcome to day nine of our fast and prayer. And I'm Nigel. This is Lai. Today we are looking into the title, "Go to the Highways and Byways." The call to go to the highways and byways reminds us of the gospel's transformative power to heal and to change lives. Despite this potential, many lack the courage to share it. Proclaiming Christ's invitation brings hope and purpose to a searching world. We must share the gospel boldly, both in words and through our actions, showing others the freedom and faith it offers. The parable highlights God's love and grace for all, calling us to a deep relationship with Him. And let us not be hesitant to share the gospel with others. Embracing its power to transform lives and to bring healing to a broken world, let us go to the highways and byways to share the good news of Christ's invitation with boldness and conviction. Now, initially, I wanted to ask you,、uh, what do you think? What is highways and byways? But I think maybe we should think of other things because this basically say that everywhere, lah, highway means. Bigger way, the byways mean by the side, lah. So now I want to ask you the question: Is like, why do you think God wants to ask us to go everywhere? I think it is God's heart to reach out to people. So therefore, irregardless of location,、mm. irregardless of、uh, geographical boundaries, so it is heart of God to reach out. To the people, irregardless of places, irregardless of our race or anything. So I think that we should follow the temple of God in that manner.、Yeah. Okay. So have you experience of uh, people uh, saying no to you? Yes. And、uh, so, what is the one thing that,、uh, or how do you actually continue to pluck out your courage to share the gospel? I have fear also to share the gospel. Actually, to be honest,、um, mm. because I don't want to be feel rejected, and fear also that in my mind that what if he don't want to continue this conversation? What if the person scold me?、Mm. So what if he ridicule about、uh, the gospel? So there are many、uh, worries, a fear inside. But、uh, sometimes we just.、Um, Ah,、uh, talk to the person.、Mm. To me, I continue the conversation by asking question. I don't share the gospel. I asking question until the person ask me what about your faith. Then I start to share. So I, I think because when we ask him question, he can answer. So he feel happy, and then let him feel that that joy. Let him feel that happiness, so that we continue to keep that friendship. So trusting that one day. He will ask that one million dollar question. All right. <laughs> For me, I, when I was young, much younger,、uh, that was like fifteen, sixteen years old. That was when I first accepted Christ. I really、uh, preached gospel more fervently and more direct, and, and really went into the mode of debate. And、uh, yeah, they don't want to come. <laughs> Some of them really went on what debate very、uh, aggressively. Some just didn't want to continue, and but most of the time, they are, I wouldn't say most of the time. I think all of those that debate that I went into, all ended up there's nothing to talk about really, because at the end it's either I win or you win, and but what's the outcome? Don't want to talk about it anymore. So I didn't get to change to to really share gospel effectively. So、uh, when I grow older, so I begin to take part in other. Ways of preaching gospel, like Alpha Course, or maybe just invite people to join Christmas and、uh, bring people to come to church services. If they say don't want, it's okay. I don't force people anymore.、Um, but I want to ask you this about、um, what is your ex? How do you feel when one really say, "Yeah, I want to accept Christ." What's the? Can you just share with us one of your successful case and? How do you feel about it?、Um, there was one time、um, I went to McDonald, 
mm. and uh, waiting for a bus uh, when I was young. Wait, you went to McDonald and wait for a bus? Yes, to go to college. <laughs> There many years ago. Okay. So this is a very special case. And um, I was sitting there, so somehow the Holy Spirit prompted me to go to talk to the uh, lady. Mm. So I just uh, struggled. But at the end, I went. Then I just uh, bring the chick publication uh, to share the gospel with her. And um, she uh, listened. And then um, I used my broken Cantonese and talked to her. And then um, I offered a prayer for her. And then she accepted and the Lord then then. So I was encouraged and then the bus is coming. So just before I, I went uh, away, stand, uh, I feel that uh, uh, relief and joy. So, so that is one, one encounter and then share the gospel and I, I move on. So she accepted the Lord, so yeah. All right. Um, I think that was uh, probably two years ago, three years ago, when we had the drive through in our church uh, for Christmas. And uh, the gist of the story is that there was this lady who walked to the church wanting to participate in the drive through Of course cannot, it will be dangerous. So I offered to drive her around with another sister in the car. So at the end, I preached the gospel. Uh, after I shared, I asked the question. Uh, I didn't expect because most of the time they all say no. But I still prop the question when I felt appropriate. So I asked, would you like to accept Christ? I was just, honestly speaking, I was waiting for her to say no. But she said yes. I was totally stunned and I wanted to cry. But I, I held back my tears and I led her to Christ. That feeling was really very, very different. So out of this world. So do you believe that it is our privilege and definitely our responsibility to share the gospel with others. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, help us to identify our highways and byways so that we would not miss out on opportunities to share about Christ with others. It is indeed a great joy to see many come to you and receive their salvation. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Come, let's pray, was it? Lord Jesus, we pray that God, that you will inspire churches, cell group, and individuals to present the message of the gospel in such a way that it would sound relevant and urgent in their families, neighbors, communities, colleagues, and acquaintances, and others around them. The cost of living for the general public has skyrocketed after the pandemic and many households are finding it hard to make ends meet as a result. Pray that the government will be able yes. to rectify this issue and reduce the burden on ordinary households yes. through wise economic policies, balancing the needs of both industry and workers. In Jesus' mighty name we ask and pray. Amen. 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 So for the next three minutes, as the music plays, I think we can all ask God to give us the courage and to see that it is indeed our privilege. Definitely we need to pray for our countries, especially the economy is really very challenging for many people. Okay? So we'll see you tomorrow.